Uh, good morning, fellow Jeepers. Here at Midview Lake, uh, it's in Utah. And it's an absolutely beautiful day. Let's give you a little quick view of the lake. Got uh, a lot of geese out there. Got the nice mountains. This is a really good lake. I, I fish it a lot. Uh, there's really good bass, walleye, um, different fish like that in here, rainbow. But I usually fish with a boat and I sold my boat a little bit ago, actually about two years ago. I moved to Seattle briefly for work and Seattle's not a boat friendly place unless you want to pay a lot of money to store it. So uh, I've been fishing off the bank, fishing a lot of rivers. And I missed being on the water and I always want to try kayak fishing. So I bought this Brooklyn kayak, it just arrived. And unfortunately they didn't ship the seat. So I got to wait for that. So I can't tell you anything about the kayak, but this video is about how to haul the kayak. Uh, I went like last year, I never bought the kayak because I couldn't figure out a way to haul it on my Jeep. And that's all I drive is Jeeps. I did not want to put a rack on. I just don't like them. I didn't want one. And I dang sure didn't want to buy a trailer to haul the kayak around. So I kind of gave up. And then I found this and it's made by Vertiac. I think that's how you pronounce it. That's their website. They're very proud of it. Uh, if I remember, I think I paid about 450 bucks and it was targeted for like RVs and stuff like that. But I figured what the heck, you know, why not put it on a Jeep? And my kayak finally came in and I've had the kayak rack for about a month now. And so today was the first day I could test it out. And it did really good uh, coming here to the lake. I just mainly did it for a test run. I got to speeds of about 65 miles per hour going down the highway. Didn't have any issues. It rode nice and steady. And I'll kind of show you around. And that way, if you have a Jeep and you want to kayak fish and you're like me and you're wondering, well, how in the heck do I haul my kayak around? I think this is a really, really good way to do it. And as you can see, the straps, everything held really nice. I think the next time I do it, this was the trial run, but I'm gonna run this strap right here through these grooves. And I think that'll give it a little extra protection so it doesn't lift up when I reach high speeds. But this whole system comes with everything you need. I was really impressed. It comes with the, the foam, it comes with both ratchet straps. Um, comes with, of course, all the hardware. It also came with this. And this right here, you know, you put these on and, and they keep the, uh, the thing from shifting. I used to use them on bolts and stuff like that. Mine doesn't do any good because one thing you're going to have to do on your Jeep is you're going to have to buy a, a receiver extender right there because it will not fit past the spare tire. It's not a big deal. They're like 40 or 50 bucks for a good one. And uh, if you do that, as you can see, I mean, it works really good. Um, you can adjust this depending on the height of your kayak. I, at first I tried the lower settings, but it sat too low. Um, if I was on paved roads or nice dirt roads all the time out fishing, no big deal. But a lot of the places I fish, they're uh, very remote and hard to get to. And it's on two tracks and you got real rocky roads and a lot of dips and stuff like that. So I went ahead and I put it up a little bit higher to where I have enough clearance. And if I need to, if I'm going on a real technical trail or something like that, of course, I can move it up, say to here or whatever, and give me even more clearance. So, you know, I thought it was a real nice feature. It's customizable. Uh, when you store it, you pull this pin right here, and this lever will come down. Um, the bottom one is supposed to do the same, but it's a design flaw. It doesn't work because this bar is right here in the middle of the bracket, so it can't go all the way up and it can't go all the way down. It kind of sits at an angle about like that. 
Uh, but no big deal. You know, if you got the room to store, you can figure out a way to, to make it work. Uh, one thing I noticed on this, when I put it together, was there was a lot of play this way. Like, you know, it, it really wobbled back and forth. And the ratchets that it comes with, there's, I mean, God, they got, they're so long. There, there's plenty of uh, extra length. And so I wrapped it around here to the tow hook. And man, that really made it a lot more snug. And there's there's a little bit of play, but not much at all. Uh, nothing I'm concerned about. And so I'll kind of show you how it looks from a distance. You know, it's, it's different looking, but it's kind of cool. I've never seen one before. Um, I'm sure many of you have, and you know, they're definitely out there, but I've just personally had never seen one before. And I think for a Jeep, you know, it's the perfect setup. And to show you kind of the clearance, you know, you got plenty of clearance. Um, the height, I mean, obviously it's a kayak. It does stick up there quite a ways, but um, I used to live on the East Coast, and I know you got a lot of old towns, old streets that have real low bridges. So something like that, of course, you'd have to be careful if you're going down the road with a lot of, a lot of trees and stuff like that, but... You know, I mean, it's not that bad. I'm sure you can, 98% of the places you fish, you'd have no problem getting to with that, but that's how it looks. And you know, it pokes up there good. Probably, I didn't measure it because every kayak's different, but I would imagine it's about four feet. This kayak I bought, it's the uh, 285 model by Brooklyn Kayak, and it is nine feet, two inches. So that'll kind of give you an idea on your kayak of how it's gonna look. But just keep in mind, you can adjust it. You can lower it, you can raise it. Um, so if you got a really tall kayak or it's really long, you can always lower it a little bit, depending on where you live. I just, here where I live in Utah, a lot of places are very remote and a lot of the roads are, you know, they're um, not maintained, they're just like forest service roads. So I needed the extra clearance, so I had to lift it up quite a ways. But there you go. Um, and I hope this helps some of you out if you're looking for an alternative of how to haul your kayak or you own a Jeep and you want to start kayak fishing, that we do have options out there for us that drive Jeeps. And I think this is a very good option. And I think I'm really, really going to enjoy it. All right. Have a good day. Happy jeeping and happy fishing. All right. Bye.